हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सी आर एम क्लाउड टेक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग अबाउट द सी आर एम एंड इट्स एक्सरम टूल बॉक्स सो एक्सरम टूल बॉक्स इज अ वेरी पावरफुल टूल टूल बॉक्स दैट प्रोवाइड फैसिलिटी टू ईज आर सी आर एम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड कस्टमाइजेशन इट प्रोवाइड्स वेरी गुड वे एंड ईजी एंड दैट कंज्यूम दैट रिड्यूज द टाइम एंड इट हैज मोर दैन थर्टी प्लग इज विच हेल्प्स टू Uh, which helps to uh, make CRM customization and configuration easy and time consuming. So let's start this and we will download it first the CRM XRM toolbox and we will see how we can download and how we can configure and how we can log in with CRM credential. So it is started downloading in few minutes it will be downloaded. So basically it provides a very good way and easier way that <coughs> through this, this we can uh, we can uh, save our time and it also make our comp uh, implementation customization e very easy okay and we there are many tools and uh, plugins we can plug in there are uh, that helps us to implement crm like sql cds uh, user utility setting data migration tool also we yeah we can use data migration also we can have solution merger option available we can merge solution in a single solution and we have uh, another tool that is fetch xml builder we can use also so let's see uh, uh, i will show you how you can use there also there are other tools available also like plugin registration tool we can also manage plugins there we can also manage solution layer we can delete we can check how many solution unmanaged layer we have in our managed solution and we can also delete them from the solution so this type of <coughs> uh, operation we can do easily do we can from the exam toolbox it's a very easy tool just you need to log in with your crm credential it will access uh, your crm and that provide you the uh, library over you can work according to your requirement so let's see it will be done over Here now you can see it is downloaded. We will open it. We will unzip it. We can unzip it by any zip unzipper and maybe seven zip also. Here you will see there will be a tool called Exam Toolbox application. You can open it. It will be open like a Windows application. It's a Windows based application actually, not any web application. It's a very good and amazing tool which I have uh, used. Here you can see uh, this is all op open, and there are the libraries available. You can see whatever you need: companion tool, sample tool, access tool, attribute factory, CRM trace reader. You can also use easy translator. You can also manage your translation, export and import translation. many tools are available here you can see the solution component mover you can <coughs> move a uh, component from the one solution to another solution or you can also import solution solution you can manage solution layer many tools you will be able to use here it's a very good tool user manager filter tools you can use user rules manager user setting it's a very good tool when we are when we have access process that uh, and we have a uh, some predefined uh predefined component that needs to given to a user which are new in the crm that like a uh, time zone we need to set for organization we need to set the currency default currency for the user and uh, email email facility and, and many other things 
where we can set i will show you one by one everything so let's do one thing first let's connect this with my crm so for that we need to click on connect we need to open the new connection or directly we can go here also create a new connection we will go to microsoft login control i will open this uh, open microsoft login control here i will choose office 365 i will choose display list of organization <coughs> means environment and short one setting and now i just choose my username here which i will get from here and now i will choose password it will log in my crm here and you can see uh, i have whatever environment i have i am having the access it will show me all things so here you can see environment i will check in power platform i have three environment available expo prod expo test and home default environment so here you can see it is fetching all the environment now i want to connect this expo test environment and i will log in it and i will just give it its trans name to understand uh, in future because i might be connected to an another environment also so it will create a connection here so it's expo test by name i will be it will be identified in the crm so here you can see expo more connection i will be here and it will be the show the list so i will just connect it it will be connecting few seconds here now you can see it's connected to my crm it's my crm url okay now i will just <coughs> go to tools uh, now i these are tools already installed plugins you can see also if you need more plugins you you can also you can install here two library there are many plugins lots of plugin available you can use it will fetch and you just need to click on install so it will install that plugin into this crm toolbox So here we will first go SQL Serial. So SQL Serial is not available. So let's install it. So here you can see uh, all the new libraries are available. We can install it by click on install. So I will install it SQL Serial. It will provide me uh, the facility to make a query as like SQL in database. So it will install it. So it, SQL CDS means SQL Common Data Services. So uh, Dataverse is the old name. Dataverse Common Data Services CDS. So it is installed. <coughs> if you want to install the S Fetch XML Builder, you can also install. It will uh, help to help you to make a Fetch XML query. This is also installed, and data migration tool here you can also see data migration tool. This you can use. It's a very good tool which I recently used. Just simply click on install. It will install in few seconds. So here you can see whatever installed in our library. So I will choose here SQL CDS. And it will connect my database like a SQL Studio. I can make a query like select star from context context entity. It will give me result <coughs> same like a SQL. Here you can see all the data are available. Where account code is not null, so it will provide as if as you make the query. Okay, so now this is SQL. We will now again see the new tool. 
and this is a user utility fetish. It's a very good tool that provide that uses in the provide uh, support side that provide the facility to, to set the default uh, <coughs> settings to the user and it's so that is so good. See, it is already open, so I will load those users. Whatever users are present in my CRM, it will be here last name, first name, and business unit. <coughs> and I can select one by one user and I can make the these default settings. So, like I have user Alaska, Alexa, or maybe. Al Okay, the same user I can make user one. Okay, so, so technical user, this is a user I will select it. You know whatever the default setting are available already, it will show here. And now I can choose whatever I want. So record purpose I can choose 50 to 75 time zone. I can also select any of them. <coughs> and uh, default currency you can select British pound and default dashboard you can also select here you can see calendar you can see week day or month and uh, allow email on behalf of my be my behalf you can also change here and track email messages you can also change no change or email messages create record whatever you want contracts or leads you can also change Format you can also change here. You can see UI language or help language. You can also change. So, this will be the default setting for the user every time the new user came into your uh, organization. And after changing, you just need to click the update user setting. And you need just if you want to see the log, you want to open. Yes, I want to open the log, and it will be open in Notepad. And you can see user setting has been updated successfully so all setting these is updated successfully same like to again choose the new user this one and whenever you select it whatever default setting are available here it will be there so this is a user setting tool it's a very good tool and now we will see the <coughs> solution layer or solution component mover so suppose you have a solution you have a first I will load a solution 